Here we go with another classic alternative commentary. Apologies for the delay in getting this out. Wouldn't you fucking know it? 95% of the country are chilling out on the sofas. But I've had my busiest and most profitable week yet. Some would say that my work isn't essential. But I think that going out and putting clamps on people's cars is important work. Especially when it's in a hospital car park. Onto the match and you can see that it's a foggy night on the banks of the Weir. Sheffield Thursday are in town and they have got one foot on Wembley way after beating us in the first leg. Look at Big Bally getting stuck in from the off. He's so fucking hard that man. I bet that if he attended a feminist rally, he'd return home with his shirt ironed and a sandwich. It's all Sunderland as we try to level up the score. A good ball in from the anorexic one. The ball finds Super Kev who smashed it goalwards. Fucking hell. The keeper stopping that like he's a table football player. That could have gone fucking anywhere. Look at this clown. He looks like he doesn't know what day it is or even what planet he is on. Let's have another look at that strike from the great man. He brings it down superbly and hits the shot harder than I've hit Pornhub Premium during this coronavirus outbreak. Look at these idiots. They think they have an attack. But Super Kev comes sliding in like John Terry slides into a married woman's DMs. It's as if the blades are trying to do some social distancing. In comes a shot. Yes, yes, yes. Just look at those fucking limbs in the south stand. The bloke we call AJ who isn't a convicted nonce is claiming it and I don't fucking blame him. He did all the work. Go easy with the celebration there lads. There are children present. Let's have another look at the goal. A sexy bit of play ending up with the ball coming rifling in from the left wing just like Denver Hume. When Denver Hume is born of course. Look at the goal from this angle. You might say we were lucky, but who gives a fuck? I don't care if the ref tapped it in at the back post. Someone get Wembley way on the phone and place a bulk order for some cheesy chips. We keep up the pressure. A pass is flown into Sadisco pants. Fucking hell. The shot is blocked from close range. You should be burying that now lad. Imagine if that was Charlie Wag who did that. He'd be receiving death threats in the mail and Sam Wise would block him on Twitter. We move on. A bit of head tennis and someone has the audacity to tackle Kevin Ball. He must have balls the size of Ant McPartland's 5 head to be doing something like that to Big Kev. In whips across. Good save. It's still in. It's ended up at the feet of Summer B who shoots. Get the fucking fucking lads. It's none other than Super Kev himself who directs the shot into the goal. Stick that up your steel making. Full Monty dancing asses and fuck off back to South Yorkshire while we go to Wembley. Just look at those absolute scenes all around the stadium. It's a good job they are extending the north stand next year, because we have just lifted up the fucking roof. Let's have another look at the goal. Once again, the attack coming in from the left wing. We were quicker than Mike Ashley's U-turn about not closing his stores this week. While we are on this subject, fuck him and fuck Tim Martin. We all like cheap weather spoons beer, but the way he treats his staff, I hope he gets a double dose of the coronavirus. The twat. Here we go again. Must be 3-0. Holy shit balls, you unlucky fucker. I thought that was all over then. The ball finds Mickey Gray who goes on a run down the left. What the fuck? Referee, what does this bell end think he is playing? Mortal fucking combat? I've seen finishing moves that were softer than that challenge. He should be given a straight red for that. But Tom Selleck takes pity on him and lets him off with a warning. Another look shows that the current Sunderland team are closer to the Premier League than he was to getting the ball with that tackle. We continue to dominate. Here's Quinny with the third. Oh fuck right off. We should be 17 nil up by now and Big Nile should have a hat trick already it's not even fucking half time. On to the second half and it's mistier than my bathroom with the window shut as the lads continue to pile on the pressure. A shot comes in from Johnson. Unlucky there. Chris Maguire would have put that higher into the top corner. Just saying. Meanwhile, Peter Reed tells us what shape women he prefers as he chews his 40 second stick of gum this evening. What is this? A Sheffield attack late on? What they don't realize is that we have got the legend that is Lionel Perez in goal and he hasn't had a drop of wine since lunchtime. Surely 2-1. Great save from the Frenchman. And again. Who does he think he is? Monty at Wembley? Out fucking standing goalkeeping right there. It's just a shame he wasn't in this type of form when we played against Eric Cantona. I can't bear to watch this. We are on the verge of going to the playoff final and we are all biting our nails harder than Luis Suarez bites opposition defenders. It's all eyes on the referee. Blow your fucking whistle. You big tashed wanker. Get the fuck in. One of the most famous wins on Weirside in this stadium or in the last one as well. 
Peter Reed is a fucking genius and should be knighted in the New Year's honors. The fans are jubilant. It's cheesy chips on Wembley Way as soon as we have spent an entire night queuing outside the Stadium of Light for playoff final tickets. It's been 25 years since we last won at Wembley. Surely this time Mickey Gray will lead his men to a famous win over Charlton and we get to watch Premier League football at the Stadium of Light for the first time in the 98-99 season. Tune in next week for another classic alternative commentary. One will be released every time the lads should have been playing until the coronavirus fucks off out of our country and we return to normality. In the meantime, continue to stay safe, keep washing your hands and avoid people as if they were David Oppitz, that filthy shitbag from Portsmouth. Harway the lads.